Hi Kaz, mainly Pilates. Let's talk about the press up. People say they can do stacks of press ups and this is what I see in the gym all the time. Pretty sad really and not very effective. Instead, let's try legs out straight, back absolutely flat, neutral spine, neck lengthen, lowering to the floor and pressing back up. And that's a good press up. This makes it easier. Let's start at the very beginning. When you can't do that, let's do this. Lean against the wall, no bum stuck out. Flat back, neutral spine, elbows go out to the side. Perfect. This is not perfect, where you have that bend and your bum stays where it is. So we need to keep that bum in line. All right. Now, that's quite easy. Most people can do quite a few of those. So we make it a bit more difficult by lowering the head and shoulders. So now we're holding on to something that's much lower than the wall. Still neutral spine, chest goes into the banister. And again, a bit harder still because the windowsill is lower than the banister. Same principle though. Elbows go out. This is people's go-to and you don't need special clothes on. You can just do it anywhere, kitchen, anywhere. And then you can get a bit harder and move to a chair, which is lower. The lower your head and shoulders are in relation to your feet, the tougher it is. So try that. And then we can get to the floor. So we don't have a lump in our spine and we definitely don't have a dip. We have that neck lengthened, shoulders in line with our wrists, hips in line with our, hand, our knees. And we draw a line between our thumbs and we don't dive at it with our nose, that's rubbish. We dive at it with our chest. Lowering down, no movement in the spine. That's most people's go-to. They find that quite difficult, but if it's easy, you can take the legs further away and even lift the feet if it hurts your knees. Then we have something that I've named the halfway house. We go into that plank position in the neutral spine, neck lengthened, and we lower all the way down to the floor because getting up is the hardest bit. And then we push up, keeping the hips in line and lower down and lift up, lifting the hips and shoulders at the same time. Perfect, have a go.